Hi guys, welcome to uh, a rather intriguing episode of The Clueless Drinker. And we're going over to Freising here in Germany to the Babo Beverages. And this is a bottle of the Babo Blue. Yes indeed, it's a blue beer. And no, it's not an Alcopop. It's actually a beer clocking in at 2.9%. First of all, absolutely fantastic looking label. I love that. I really, really enjoy that. And then you've got the Babo Blue and a bottle cap. And yeah, I picked this up in my uh, local supermarket, which has all of a sudden started to stock craft beers. And there are some beers that I wouldn't have been able to have pick up, picked up. What? There are some beers that I probably wouldn't even be able to pick up in somewhere like Beretta. It's, it's weird how that works. So uh, yeah, I was very, very surprised. And it's great to see that I don't have to, you know, go to specialty shops or order online when a lot of the supermarkets now I've noticed in my local area have started to really stock mainly ones that you've seen before um, but yeah I think it's it's a great thing and it's going to get hopefully a lot more people into this weird and wonderful world. Basically it's uh, a beer mix drink so it's like a Radler or a, a Shandy that sort of thing I suppose. So, uh, yeah, it's brewed with lemonade with berry flavour, so I'm not too sure. Would, would that be blueberry? I'm not sure. It doesn't um, go into much detail about what actual uh, berries are used in there. But, um, yeah, I thought it was interesting. Picked up a couple of bottles, so the better half can try one as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm not expecting to be blown away by this one. But I'm going to give it a fair chance. I think that's all you can do. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to pouring out a blue beer. So, let us do that. God, that is surreal. Even the foam is blue. It's like, as soon as it's in the glass, it gets so much more intense. Yeah, that is fucking weird. Really, really. His apologies about my uh, language there. It's it's like a, a blue hard candy sweet. You can see for it slightly. Look at that carbonation going up to the top of that. Even like a turquoise head. I've never seen anything like that in my life. It's like I've applied a filter to the video. That's absolutely insane. But yeah, it certainly it looks the part um, yeah, what more can I say about the appearance? Let's give it a little bit of a sniff. Ooh, God, that's weird as well. Very sweet. You get a mixture of berries in there. I'm getting a hint of blueberry. A nice bright strawberry aroma in there as well. Cranberries. Just like an overall medley of different sorts of berries. But I'm predominantly getting in terms of that characteristic, a blueberry. has that slight sort of bubblegum aroma to it as well, like blue bubblegum. Like you can get like bubblegum flavoured ice cream, that sort of flavour. Not like bubblegum that you can pick up in some like Belgian beers or wheat beers. But yeah, very, very sweet. It's got this sort of syrupy aroma to it. And then underneath it, you get this sort of like um, slightly dank, just generic beer smell. I'm not too sure what style of beer they have used. I guess it's sort of along the lines of a Pilsner or a Hellers. And I know a lot of people will be put off already by the fact that it's a blue beer and it's in a clear bottle. But you know what? If it tastes good, fair enough. It's a nice session, fun drink. I think people take this hobby way too fucking seriously. Especially on Facebook, but... We won't get into that. Really, really intrigued, to say the least. Let's give it a sip. Prost. It just tastes like a berry infused lemonade. Yet this sort of like stickiness on the back end. I am getting like a very basic hop bitterness in there right at the back end not a high ibu beer at all but you can tell that it's a beer it's not just an alka pop 
you know, it's not like a blue WKD, or I think even Beck's do a blue beer, don't they? I'm not sure. I know there was that beer in Japan that was all the rage a few years ago, which was used, uh, brewed using iceberg water, uh, iceberg stuff. Can't get the words out today. Yeah, it's like something from a, a science experiment. You know, you're expecting like smoke to be coming out or it's like bubbling vigorously. But um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not absolutely loving it. But you know what? If you want something a little bit different, a little bit of a conversation starter, you want to surprise your mates, that sort of thing. Something like this is going to knock them for six. The more I'm drinking now, the more that hop carrots comes through. But it does, it sort of tastes like a very high quality but standard, like Hella's Lager. With lemonade, with a syrup put into it. That's the impression that I'm getting with this beer as I'm drinking it. It's got a synthetic sort of flavour to it. It is a little bit gimmicky. It's not for everyone. Uh, would I pick more up if I wanted something nice and sweet? Low ABV, a little bit of fun. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably pick up another bottle of this. But I wouldn't go really out of my way to pick one up. Um, yeah, I'm a bit on the fence about this beer. I'm just amazed by the look of the beer. It's just boggling the mind every time I look at it. Uh, it's just amazing how intense and like blue it is. It, it looked like a pale blue in the bottle, but then you pour it into a glass and it just gets this really nice, intense, beautiful to look at. And then lovely bouquet of berries on the aroma, then you taste it and you're getting predominantly a syrupy lemonade sort of feel with a bit of a beer backbone. I couldn't drink too many of these, even though it's low ABV beer, just because it would probably get a little bit sickly after a while. But I've tasted much worse. I do like a good Shandy. I do like a good Rattler. And it's just a little bit of fun. And that's, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. There will be people out there who will be, you know, really poisonous against this one. 